Brothers and sisters, the Christian Bible is composed of two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. In fact, the word testament should in fact be covenant. And what is a covenant? It is an agreement between God, creator of heaven and earth, who wants to be a father, and God's people who are invited to be children. The covenant is based upon God's word, and it is that word that we find in the Bible. In the Old Testament, we discover God's love for us. In the laws, in the experiences, in the wisdom and the prophetic word that make up the Old Testament. All of this is outside of the human person and must be learnt, as the human person is invited to become God's own child. This is the radical newness of the New Testament, for in the New Testament, the covenant is written on the heart, within the human person. And this is what Jeremiah has already prophesied in the Old Testament. Let us listen to that prophetic word of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, though I was their Lord, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. The New Testament as a concept actually means the blood of Christ poured out for us on the cross. Christ's life, his mission, his death on the cross and his resurrection are what is contained in the books of the New Testament. In fact, according to tradition, the eight authors that wrote the books of the New Testament found the right words in their knowledge of the Old Testament to write their testimony. These eight are Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Paul, James, Peter, and Judah. The New Testament is divided into four parts, just like the Old Testament. We can see this in the symmetry between the Old and the New. In the Old Testament, we have five books of the Torah. In the New Testament, four books of the Gospel. In the Old Testament, we have 16 books of history. In the New Testament, one book of history. In the Old Testament, we have seven books of wisdom. In the New Testament, we have 21 epistles. In the Old Testament, 16 prophetic books. And in the New Testament, one book of prophecy. The New Testament was written in the first century. All of the books were composed then and in stages. Undoubtedly, the foundational stage is the stage of Jesus, the preacher, preaching the good news of salvation. After his resurrection, his disciples continued to preach but now they preached Jesus, who had been the preacher and now became the preached one, the subject of the preaching. In the middle of the first century, they began to write. And Jesus, the preached one, became Jesus, the written one, the one that we still have today, the one to whom we turn. And in order to turn to him, we read the New Testament in order to get to know him, to see him, 
to listen to him, and most important of all, to follow him so that we too can enter the kingdom of God. Thank you.